awesome company list. Because there's a bunch of projects. There's like a hundred repositories or something at this point, I think, in GitHub. So, speaking of GitHub, if you guys would like, you can also, we have, we have some comfy sponsors in here, but you could be a comfy sponsor. Anybody that makes use of the open source projects that I do and everything, you can be a comfy sponsor. Lily right here is actually the very first comfy sponsor. Holy cram. <laughs> Thank you so much, Lily. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let me show you how this works. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'll show you how to work with Twitch channel points. Basically, really, really fast. So, here we go, HTML, HTML, and then we need a head. And we'll say, title. How to work with Twitch channel points. Yabam. And then, ooh, ooh, ooh. And then, here, where, where am I gonna save this? Here, we'll save it. This is fine. Mm, we'll save it in, okay, we'll save it here. Why not? In next.html. And then we need to download. So if you go to comfy.js, in github.com, insta fluff, comfy.js, then you can go to the dist folder and then you can download comfy.js, comfy.min.js. This is basically the easiest way to integrate with Twitch chat. That's basically what it is. So instead of downloading it, I guess I'll just copy pasta, save it in the same folder because I'm super lazy. Here I got company in JS. And then we'll include it in here. So it'll be a script source equals comfy min.js and kabam script. And so now in here we said a body will be like da 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 da. So, oh wait, not ID equals uh, yay. Kabam. Do, 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 do. And close the by, and then we'll do the script. Yeah. All right. So basically, with comfyjs, you do all you have to do is you do init, and then you'd be like instafluff or whatever channel you want, and then in comfyjs you add a thingy, a, a handler, oops, on chat, which takes in. Let's see, what does it take in? I forget. That's why I gotta look this up. I wrote this stuff. And I can't remember what I, oh, here we go, on command. On chat is a little different, but on command, on chat, they both work the same way. And so, on chat, reading chat messages, come in. I'll just copy this and then put it in here. Yeah. You know, I really need a, um, a CDN for Comfy.js. If you guys know how I could set one up or, or where I can get one for Comfy.js, then let me know, because then you would never have to download it. You could just be like, here, I'm gonna include it from the CDN and it'll work. So. Here we go. If you do this, then let's say the document dot uh, query selector uh, yay dot inner text equals message. So if we do that, then when we open this file, which let's see, where's my penguin drop file folder? Penguin drop and then uh, start dot. Okay. So I made it as index.html, right? So you don't even need to like set up a web page for it or anything, but check it out. See, Twitch chat. Oh, oh, I'm behind it. But Twitch chat, whenever someone types it in, will actually show up in here now. And so, see, read chat and stuff. Uh oh, <laughs> close your body tag. Wait, did I not close my body tag? Oh, no, I, oh, rip. <laughs> rip, rip, betty do da, rip, betty a. <laughs> It still works like magic. <laughs> All right, so now I'll show you the secret to to integrating with Twitch channel points. If you go to instafluff.tv slash, I made this tool. It's called Twitch Custom Reward ID, and then you put in a channel like like instafluff. Here we go. Here, I'll put it in chat, so then you can see. It. Okay, I don't need that anymore. So I'll put it in chat, and then you can see it in big text right there. That's the link that you need to go to and then you replace your channel name with whatever channel you want. And then, and then you go to your channel points. Oh wait, I should show it here so you can actually see what I'm talking about. So you click this thing, ours is called mug points, mug cakes, and then you go to manage rewards and then it'll open this thing. And then in manage rewards, you can create a custom reward. So you go here, we have a bunch of these. And so you go to add new custom reward. And then let's say, let's we'll say test 
a test reward for this thingy. And oh wait, wait, entering the naughty corner. Well, we'll name this the naughty corner. And then the the thing is right now with um, that the little trick that you have to do is you have to require the viewer to enter text. Hmm. But you can make whatever cost you want, and then so we'll just set it to one. And you can, if you want, you can skip rewards queue. It's usually generally good because then you won't have this like entire giant queue of like stuff that you have to approve or decline or whatever. But but if you don't have this, then if you you have you have like really really high custom reward stuff that you haven't you need to, you want to refund points at any point in time, you can you can. I mean I don't know. This is all like general custom reward stuff. So we're gonna create it. And so, now that we have it, let me show you. Hi, Rika. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so enter it, naughty corner, right? So you do this, and then you can put in whatever text and it'll show it. But here's the trick. From this tool that I made for everyone, if you type in text, if you try it out, then you'll get the reward ID, just like that. So then, that's the reward ID that you're gonna need. And then you put it here. So the way to check is in flags, there's custom reward, which will let you know whether or not that chat message is a custom reward. And then if it is, then in here, there's this extra object, extra as a parameter. And what you can find is there's a custom reward ID. And what you say is if that equals equals, or I guess, you know, I'm just gonna combine these two together and equals this custom reward ID for whatever we just made. Did I close that? No, I didn't. Okay. Then we can say da 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 da. We'll say user has entered the naughty corner. Naughty naughty. Oops. Naughty naughty. Oh, I can't type. Naughty naughty. And voila, we'll get, we'll comment that out. And now if we refresh this, check this out, check this out. We're going to redeem a naughty corner. Should I show you? And be like, <laughs> oh no, I broke it. What did I break? I broke something. Oh, query selector on document. Oh, it's not a valid select. Oh rip, oh rip. Oh no, <laughs> it needs to be this. Rip. Da -da -da -da. Come here. There we go. I need to actually select the, the right header object and then set the inner text. What was I thinking? What was I thinking? This is speed coding for you guys. All right, so I refreshed and then I'm gonna try it again. Test. <laughs> ah! So then you can hook it up to like I don't know, Baby Yoda or whatnot. Like, like I'll show you Baby Yoda I have. Uh, let's see, Baba Yoda, me like. <laughs> <laughs> Baby Yoda, with Twitch points. Or we can be like, generate a fluffy name. It's like, give me a name, please. Insta fluffy the or Makuma ou en joie taking long work on the beach who says, give me a name PLZ. Or we can be like, celebration with fireworks. Celebration. Bam. And so, there you go. There you go. Hopefully, that made sense. Good luck, good luck, Elyrion. And, oh, I should probably mark that. How do I do a, oh, 